one where we did numbers. Okay, and I gave you these magic numbers and you don't need to write them down. Okay, but they were two, three, five, seven. Okay, those are the only ones we were allowed to circle and group out and put out, okay? Um, so the groups are still gonna be the same when you're doing variables and tomorrow we'll be doing numbers and variables, okay? So we've already done just numbers. Today we're doing just variables and then tomorrow we'll be doing numbers and variables when they're all in one underneath that radical, okay? Uh, and so, the group number still works the same. Like this has it, you'll take them out in groups of three. This you'll take them out in groups of what? Two, okay, this one three, this one two. Um, and so we have x to the fourth, okay? Well, something squared means if you have um, two to the third, that really means two, 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 three times, okay? So if we have x squared, it's x times x. If you have x to the third, it's x times x, times x, okay? And so the number, the little number um, that is the exponent that's attached to whatever goes to that variable and it says how many times. So my suggestion to you when you're doing these is just to write them out, okay? So we have x to the fourth, so we got one, two, three, four. We have four x's, okay? What is our group number? Two. Two, so we can take them out in groups of two. So how many groups of two of these x's can I do? Two, right? I got one and two. Where do groups go? Outside. Outside. So you're going to put one for this group and one for this group. What goes on the inside? Nothing. Okay, just the way we did numbers. What if there was no numbers left, right? That just means no one's home. Okay, so on this and then you multiply them just like we did with numbers. So you're going to get x squared square root, but we don't leave a square root empty, okay? So our answer is just gonna be x squared, okay? So if we look at number three, how many x's do I have? Three, right? For this part, I have x, x, x. I take them out in groups of what? Three, so how many can go? One group, where does it go? Outside, what goes on the inside? Nothing, so our answer, we don't write like this, okay? So our answer, you're just gonna kinda get rid of the radical. So your answer is just gonna be X. <coughs> okay, I think most of these are whole, so I'm gonna show you one what happens when it's not, okay? So, I'm pretending, okay? If you pretend like this is a seven instead, Okay, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, what would our group number be? Four, okay, and so you take out one group of four, so that goes on the outside. And how many do you have left that can't go? Three, and so you're gonna say X to the third on the inside. So that's what you do if you don't have like something left on the inside, okay? This is not the answer though, but um, that's what you would do, okay? But in this case, we have eight, and it's not X. What is it? Y. It's a Y. Okay, we got Y, 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 Y. Okay, and so we can take two groups of Y's. One and two. So you're gonna have Y squared with nothing inside the radical. So our answer is just what? Y squared. Okay, y to the 10th, face put that up. Y to the 10th. So we have 10 y's, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. What is our group number? Two, so how many groups can go? Five, one, two, three, four, five. So what's your number on the outside gonna be? Y five. Okay. Nine, we got 15 Y's and I need it in groups of five. Okay, so I got one, two, three, four, five. 
One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now I know some of you guys are gonna be able to like just see and pull out, okay? And that's totally okay. Um, how many can go? What's our group number? Five, so how many can go? Three groups, right? We got one group, two groups, three groups. So you're gonna get Y3 on the outside and there's nothing left on the inside of that radical. Okay, look at 11. Even if you have multivariables, you're gonna kind of treat them the same. Okay, so how many A's do I have? Four, I got one, two, three, four. How many B's do I have? 18, okay, you can write down 18 if you want to. If you can figure it out in your head, you totally can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, what is our group number? Two. So how many groups of A's can we take? Two. Okay, so I got A and A. So we're gonna get A squared on the outside. How many groups of B's can I take? Nine. Okay, and some of you guys, you might have figured out there's a two here. What is 18 divided by two? Nine, so we get nine groups. Okay, what's four divided by two? Two, we get two groups, okay? So you're gonna get B to the nine on the outside. What's left on the inside? Nothing, okay? So you're just gonna get A squared, B to the nine. Okay, let's do 13, not the cheater way, but uh, the, the fast way, essentially. What number is on the outside? A two. So what is two divided by two? One, so you know you're gonna get x to the one on the outside, y to the four divided by two. Two, you're gonna get y two on the outside. Okay, so you're gonna get x one, y two, or you can just write x, y two. Okay, 15, what number's on the outside? Four, so I'm gonna get eight divided by four is what? Two, so I'm gonna get X to the two on the outside. 16 divided by four, four, so you're gonna get Y to the fourth on the outside. Okay, if you have an odd number, you have to do the, the division for one lower than. Okay, so if it was 17, well, 17 doesn't divide into four. So you could check the lesser than, so you say 16 divided by four, or 15 divided by four, or 14 divided by four, until you get a whole number. And that extra one's gotta go on the inside. Okay, 17. I got nine divided by three. Three, so I'm gonna get A, three, B what? B1, C, C4. <coughs> 19, what am I gonna get? X1. Okay, it does not matter what is underneath the radical because I know a lot of you guys are gonna ask me about one of the problems. Um, if I put under here, and I'm not gonna do exactly, but um, this to the fourth, okay? And I say um, X plus 10 to the fifth, okay? That means that I have on the inside here, I got X plus 10 x plus 10, x plus 10, x plus 10, x plus 10, 
five times. So how many of those can go? What's my group number? Four. So I could take four of them. One, two, three, four. Okay, so x plus 10 goes on the outside. What goes on the inside? And x plus 10, okay? It doesn't matter. You could change this to x plus 32, okay? You still take them in groups, okay? Okay, and then lastly, I'm gonna show you what's going on for tomorrow. One. So I got square root, so put your pencil down, pay attention, 384R3. Okay, so you're going to treat the numbers and letters separately. So you're going to say 384 divided by 2. You get 2 and 192. 2 and 96. 2 and 48. 2 and 24, 2 and 12, 2 and 6, 2 and 3. Okay, what is our group number? 2. Okay, so um, I can take one group, two groups, three groups. Okay, so on the outside of the radical, I put 1, 2, 3 for those groups of twos. Who can't go? 2 and 3. Okay, and then how many R's do I have? Three. Okay, so I'm gonna say one, two, three R's. How many of those can go? One group. So that goes on the outside. Who can't go? That's leftover R. So he's gonna go on the inside. Okay. Uh, and you'd say two times two times two. Eight. R square root six R. Okay, if I change this to a five, okay, well then I have five R's. Now how many can go? Two groups. So I get RR, which is gonna make that what? R squared, and I still have that one left over. Okay, that's what we're doing tomorrow. Treat the numbers and letters separately. Okay, do the numbers just like you normally would, and do the letters like you did today, okay? That's what you'll be doing tomorrow. I will try to make a video, but I don't know how my day is going to go if I'm going to have time to, okay? Um, you guys finish your last 10 and then put them in the box back there.